again um with this messy uh, testing table but uh we just um wanted to let you know guys about an issue with the um xbox one console so the xbox one console um uh, unlike the playstation 4 uh, it has um an issue where you don't get anything on the screen um and uh Usually, uh, the HDMI ports are not broken on these things. They're made a little bit sturdier. Um, and um, the HDMI chips on them as well uh, usually do not go bad. Um, uh, we have replaced a few of them um, in the past. But um, uh, this uh, problem is uh, most likely related to your um, hard drive. Um, so uh, this is the old hard drive that was um, in this unit. Um, so we replaced that here. Um, to give this one a full uh, recovery. Now when this happens, um, you actually don't get to keep your data, um, which sucks. Uh, so, uh, but that's the only way to do it is to actually get a factory reset on a new hard drive. And it's not as easy as it sounds. Um, it's not just uh, getting a new hard drive and putting uh, the software on it. You'd have to get the hard drive on on a, on a computer um, and repartition uh, the hard drive in a way that Xbox uh, system will understand. Um, so there are a few partitions that uh, need to be created, such as the update system um, and a few others. Um, there are a few tutorials out there. I'm going to probably put a link uh, to some of these um, uh, places where you can actually get the uh, partitioning uh, done. Um, it does take a little bit of time uh, to partition the system. Uh, you have to have the right tools. You have to have a uh, USB to um, SATA 2.5 connector so that you can be able to um, talk to the device. Then you're going to have to have the correct drivers. Um, you're going to have to uh, get the uh, software, the system update from uh, Microsoft um, from the Xbox One and put that in uh, two folders that you're going to create. So the instructions will tell you how to format that, um, how to use the, there's two ways of doing it. They have the Linux and the Windows. Um, so they have a Windows, somebody wrote a script for a Windows uh, partitioning for this, which is amazing. Um, and um, uh, I currently use the Windows one, but there's also a uh, Linux uh, flavor if you're just using an Ubuntu box or something like that. You can definitely grab an Ubuntu box, uh, put that, uh, software on there uh, get the hard you know the hard drive repartitioned put the software on top of your folder that's in the system updates and boot it up um, hopefully it will boot up with you there are a few things and there are a few scenarios where it doesn't boot up right away um, you're going to need um, to check um, uh, the following um, there are a few different types of updates on the Microsoft Xbox One, so just fiddle around the uh, Microsoft uh, website. Uh, you'll see that there are uh, a bunch of different other update um, operating systems, uh, operating system updates, um, and those are usually put into the folder system updates with the uh, dollar sign at the beginning, uh, noting for Microsoft likes to use that as a system folder with a dollar sign at the front. So that's really what you're going to do. Um, you're going to you know get that update and put it in there with the correct partition and plug it in. When you turn it on, it should um, go to the green screen. Um, now this one did not go to the green green screen, um, and it was terrible. Um, so you will want to. Um, do a few things um, when you reach here uh, first after you have the software in there installed you're gonna have to completely delete everything on your system and then run the update if that doesn't work for you you can go ahead and grab a USB drive and put some of these updates in here and try them one at a time um, sometimes some of them work sometimes some of them don't um, it depends on really what the corruption is that happened with your system. Because the corruption in the system is not usually just um, the hard drive. Uh, sometimes it's the firmware. It doesn't know where the hard drive belongs to. It, or it loses the configuration. Um, and, um, you know, that's why we, we try to, you know, uh, tell you to, you know, send it in. Uh, this is not something that you can kind of like fix on your own. 
Um, it requires a lot of different tools, and Microsoft is uh, notorious for making their own tools to be, pre be able to program their own stuff. So in order for us to repair this stuff, we have created, you know, a lot of people out there have created different tools um, for a lot of, you know, for technicians to use. Um, there's a lot of things that are available on the web, uh, and, you know, you can definitely find them. Um, but yeah. There we go. Uh, this one is uh, ready to uh, be played again. So, um, take care, guys. See ya.